we are in the art district in Las Vegas at a local favorite called Soul Deli Barbecue. Check this out. Oh my God. So what is the art district? Now, if you're gonna be downtown, it's super close to Fremont Street. And it started like back in 98, it just sort of grew beyond its boundaries. They took over all these old warehouses and really it's kind of like a vibrant cultural hub. It's packed with indie art, galleries, performance spaces. Really, it's very cool. Everywhere you look, there's a freaking real around here. So I think that for locals especially, this is a favorite place to go. For tourists, they just haven't discovered it yet. They have a ton of beers here, but most of them are bottles and cans, but still a ton. They do, however, have four beers on tap, one of them being Shinerbach. We love Shinerbach. I think it was, what, $22? Yeah, for a, a picture, picture of, of beer. That's actually really a pretty good deal. Pretty good deal. See my hand shaking? Why, are you having like withdrawals? Uh, yeah, my, my body long? like sees the beer and it's like, get it in, get it in. <laughs> this is kind of funny. The table here is like really, really sticky but it's but it's but it's not from it's everywhere it's not from it's, anything being spilled on it it's almost like it has an adhesive on it or some sort of like like the, the, it, the, the disinfectant that they use doesn't mix well with the wood grain maybe and so it leaves a residue it's kind of weird it's not gross it's just kind of well weird you put your arms on the table and it gross is <laughs> gross is relative <laughs> look at this Wow. Do you guys have questions? Uh, yeah. Well, what do we got? So we have a beef and garlic link. Okay. Hatch chili cheddar link. Brisket. Portobello mushroom. That is pork belly. Pulled pork. Watermelon salad. Macaroni and cheese. Broccoli. Cornbread. Coleslaw. Potato salad. Wow. Absolutely wow. amazing. Thank you so you much. Some bread for this? Uh, you, no, bread will just no. take up space. Yeah. We're good. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. You know, it is so hot in Las Vegas today, and people are like, duh, it's summer. Uh, anyway, nice cold beer on a day like this. Now, we could have sat outside, but it was literally boiling. Not to mention the sun, you're also right next to those huge smokers. Oh my God, the guy next to me just sprayed barbecue sauce. Yeah, I know, you just, you just sprayed barbecue me. sauce all over me, too. Watch your aim. <laughs> So apparently you got to be a little careful around here with the barbecue sauce because I just got splattered from somebody else's table. You can imagine that. It's drive-by barbecuing sauce, I guess. Hey, Olivia. Yeah, Marcus's mom. If you're watching, hi. Your son sprayed us with barbecue <laughs> sauce. <laughs> he did. <laughs> he did. So after that condiment explosion, the service here has been amazing. They're taking such good care of us. They replaced the whole pitcher and gave us fresh glasses. Uh, I did have to do quite a little bird bath. Paul was worse than me, but I think you caught mine on film. Anyway, I just wanted to thank the people that work here because they're being really, really nice about it. It was just an accident. Are you just gonna eat all of it or do I get bites? <laughs> <laughs> Zoyberg it. I don't know. No, I think I'll just start on this corner. Okay. And so what we got here is, it's called the Chef's Choice. And what it is, is for two people, it's like $80. And it comes with six different meats, six different sides, all Chef's Choice. All right? So I'm going to start off with the sausage. There's two, let's see, there's two different types of sausage down here, but I'll start with this one. Mm. Now what kind of sausage did she say that is? I don't remember. She mentioned everything and, and you know. <laughs> You've already forgotten. You've yeah. already forgotten. It's sausage. Oh my gosh, do you see that one has cheese? Like, like goo ooing out of it. Let me, let me take a peek at that. Yeah. Wow, look at that big old hunk of cheese in there. That looks mm. so good. So that last piece of sauce that I ate was awesome. Not real spicy, it's like, but that got that barbecue crisp on the edge. Okay. Really on the, good. On the skin? Got the skin. Oh, the skin. This one's got the cheese. I think that's called like a, what, a casing? Is on, a, on, a bar, on a sausage, they call it the casing. 
Yeah, probably. The intestinal oh. lining, you like that one? That one's spicier. That one's like more like a okay. jalapeno. So the one closer to you is intestinal. More mild. Cheesy one's much spicier. Now you're gonna bite into that cornbread or you're gonna go clockwise? I'm gonna eat one of these uh, portobello mushrooms. Oh, that's like your favorite mushrooms? Yeah, it's one of the sides. So you get six meats, six sides. Mmm. Wow. It's kind of like a lot of garlic and it's really good actually. Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at all this. Doesn't that look good? Yeah, it does. Now this is the brisket. Yeah. Obviously. Oh my god, look at that. Look at this plastic knife. That's all you need though. Wow. That's all you need. That's melt in your mouth kind of stuff there, right? Yeah, and right. It's got that nice char on the edge here. Bite into it. I didn't even bite. You just press it to the roof of your mouth with really? your tongue. Really? It like melts? It just falls hey, apart. Try that cornbread. That That's... is incredible. The it's cornbread. Great. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, it's that good. looks nice Look and it. crumbly. Yeah, very much so. It's good. It's actually really good. Yeah, it I'm not doesn't a huge need cornbread any, like, fan, but butter or honey no, on it. It's I don't. Good I mean, it, it came with some butter. Oh, okay. So we have it, but it, you know, I don't think I need it. What All right. About, but you get the broccoli. I'll get it in a minute. I want to try this mac and cheese here. It's got little breadcrumbs on it. Oh my gosh, it looks very decadent. Doesn't it? Oh, that's like an important part of the of barbecue. A barbecue. You know. Yeah. You know, do you feel like that's like a top three side dish of a barbecue is the mac and cheese? Oh gosh. That is so cheesy. Oh my goodness. Like They're too like... cheesy? Is it too... <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you react that way with mac and cheese. Oh, that is like super sharp, like a super sharp cheese. Oh, I see. So the type of cheese mm -hmm. they used is really sharp. Mm -hmm. Like a sharp cheddar. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm gonna try one more thing. And then I'll let you what try some this? stuff. What is this here? It, that is corn. This is this is more of the brisket. Oh, okay, okay. Two pieces of brisket. Okay, so you've had the brisket. I had the brisket, the sausages. Two sausages, and you've had two side dishes. You get one more side dish, and then it's my turn. I'll do the strawberries. Oh. Fruit? <laughs> is that water? That's not strawberries. That's I mean, water, yeah, I'm right? sorry. I'm sorry. That's what I meant to say. You know what you saw? <laughs> you saw the green and the red together, and it made you think I of just, strawberries. I just was so excited about everything else I'm eating here. I just started misnaming things. That's so. a nice way to clean the palate at the end. A nice fruity bite. Hmm. Is it compressed watermelon? No, but they, like, put, they put a spice on it. Okay, maybe. Like, like, look here. See whatever this is. Oh, it's like a tahini or a, a pepper. Is it spicy, like yeah. peppery? Yeah, it's really good. Hmm, I'm wondering if on the sides. Oh, it's a watermelon salad with fresh mint, lime juice, and tahini. I was right. I was right. Wow, it's look at you with your professional foodie palate. I. <laughs> okay, my okay, turn. You want? You want to turn? My turn. Okay. I'm gonna start with this pulled pork. I want you to see how much grease, look at that, is in. <laughs> That's insane. You know what that means? That oh, means that it's gonna be extra good. freaking delicious. <laughs> it is. Let's take a little bite here. Oh my gosh. Your eyes just popped. Okay. <laughs> There's so much acid in that bite. Like whatever they marinate this pork in is super hits you in the mouth like a like a shot of vinegar, but in a good way. I loved, loved that. The other meat that Paul hasn't tried is the pork belly. You know what I love about this place is they consider the portobello one of the six meats. Cause it is, I guess mushrooms are kind of meaty, right? Yeah. So here's a piece of that pork belly. Mmm. Hmm. Wow. I think <clears throat> I had a similar experience that Paul described with the brisket and like you just bite into that pork belly, it just melts in your mouth, but there's like this little thick kind of crispy edge on the end. This is really, really good barbecue. I'm going to try nice. the potato salad. I love potato salad so much. You know what? I swear. 
I may have at some point in my life gone to a barbecue and just ate potato salad. True story. Really? It's nice. I like the texture. I feel like there's a whole lot of like, has like a pickly flavor or really, really um, acidic flavor in it that I'm not used to. Do you like um, it though? Is it good? I do like it. I wouldn't say it's my favorite potato salad, but I think it really complements the main, the main course as well. Okay. And now I'm gonna take a bite into this, this one here. This would be coleslaw. Mm. Mm. It's crunchy. I have to look at their menu really quick. Like seriously, is this? Uh, it just says creamy coleslaw. So I don't know. They didn't give any um, hint of ingredients. They're not going to tell you their onion. secrets. <laughs> I need you to taste this for me right away, so I need your feedback on this as well. Yeah. Like the his and hers. What do you think? Okay. <laughs> you see what I mean? Like it really is citrusy. Yeah. Like the potato salad is really citrusy. Yeah. Now try I mean, it's that. It's good. I like it. Try that coleslaw. I like the consistency, and that's and that's red potato, right? Is that what that is? I don't know what kind of potatoes those are. I'm just looking at the skin that's on there. It the looks skin. like a red potato skin. Now that coleslaw, you you tell me what you think in, in regards to that. Do you taste it? It's like almost like sour. I don't think I've ever had coleslaw like that. I, it's, I'm, it's not that I dislike it, it's just different. It's very different. You can't eat a lot of it at once. You have to take small bites. You know what you need? You need a, a drink of beer. Paul's like, you've got to try this watermelon. Wait, let me get a piece on top that's been seasoned with the mint too. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Let's try that. Mm. Isn't that crazy? Wow. I. I want to, I want to do this at home. <laughs> I have never thought to put tahini and mint on my watermelon slices. It's do I have pretty sauce incredible. all over my face? Not at all. Oh, okay. It's pretty incredible, huh? Try right the, now. the extra sharp cheese macaroni. You know, I don't like sharp cheddar. I don't really even like macaroni and cheese, honestly. Weird, I know. Hey, weirdo. Hate me. Weirdo. <laughs> you know, no go. It's a cheese lover's delight, but it, I, it's just not for me. It's not for me. I haven't tried the brisket either. Well, you know, really quick, camera's on you. Quick, his and hers opinion. Yep. Mm. There's a grit to the brisket I'm not crazy about. Really? Yeah. Oh. It's just a little gritty. And then um, I'm going to try the less of the spicy uh, sausages. The first one, the very first one. The first one, one wasn't spicy. Uh. It was the second one that was spicy. Mm. That one just tastes like barbecue sausage. Too dry. <laughs> but really robust flavor. Wow. I mean, in defense of my feedback, I'm not a huge fan of sausages anyway. I mean, right, Paul? Usually you eat all the sausages and I eat all the potato salad. It's <laughs> usually how it works out. Like, that that works to my bite. benefit all the time. Yeah, uh, I mean, I like the sausage, but... You know. There's one more thing on there that we haven't tried yet. Oh, the broccoli? Yeah. Yeah, you go ahead. You want me to do that? Amy go don't like Amy don't like broccoli. I as like much. broccoli, but there's just a lot of other choices on here that I could eat. That's like the healthiest choice right there. <laughs> yeah, what's up with chef's choice? All right, choice here I'll try it. Well, you would you would actually like this. The pieces aren't like ginormous pieces that you can't fit in your mouth. How big of a mouth do you think I have? That was huge. That's usually your complaint about these is they come in like giant yeah. pieces. Oh, that, is, that is okay. You pick that up with a fork. Okay. 
That is huge. Oh my gosh. Just shove it all in there. Oh, it's actually stupid. cooked. It all. It's actually cooked really well. Is it cooked? Not too better? soft. Got a lot of flavor. All my mouthful. You know what? Like We're missing something though. What? What? Where's your plate? Right next to you. Right there. You mean we have these plates? All right. And then we just need another set of silverware, right? Just one more set. Are you going to try that spicy sausage? I should. I mean, yeah, I should give it a shot. Mm. I mean, it's not that spicy. It just has a little bit of a bite to it. That is spicy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. You're gonna drink half that beer just from that one bite of sausage. Don't trust him. <laughs> He's like, it's not that spicy. I'm like, no, it is. It's really hot. But I won't say it doesn't taste good. It's just hot. And you know what? Chase it with a piece of watermelon. You know what? You're right. Right? You that, are that's, so right. That's the whole point that's of having watermelon. The whole point of the watermelon is getting a little chaser to cool off my yeah. mouth. Instantly better, right? No. We just met the owner of this restaurant, Bruce Coleman. Now, if you don't know who that is, he participated in Top Chef in Colorado. He was so nice. He hung out here forever with us, talked about his inspiration for these dishes, and was just incredibly relatable and friendly. So, um, what a, that was really a cool experience, was it not, Paul? Yeah. yeah. That was a really yeah. nice guy. Super nice. They have three different barbecue sauces here. They have sweet. It's, you know what? It's sweet. Sweet. They have Carolina Red. I'm going to put that one over here because that's the one I'm going to try. You think that's the hottest? Well, I think so. This one's called Spicy. Yeah. Should I try them both and see which one's hotter? I assume the Carolina Red is the hottest. If you want to do a taste I see test. peppers in there. Here, I'll no. tell you what. I'll put a little bit on my finger. Okay. Okay, so this is the spicy. It's sweet. Spicy, but it's not hot. It's so not spicy, hot. spicy, but not hot spicy. Yeah. Now this one's very runny. Did that, you see that? Did you see that? Look at this. You can see the chunks of peppers in it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's the hot stuff. So that's the stuff I'm putting on my food. So I'm going to put it on the already hot... Oh my gosh. Jalapeno. I'll just put You're a little bit on there. Hot on hot. Yeah, just put a little bit on there. And then we'll just put a little bit on this here brisket. Just to see if it adds the flavor. Now they said he said with the brisket they don't really do anything to it, right? It's more like a dry rub. Mm. That brisket is outstanding. Hot. Gets you in the end there, yeah. So no, that brisket is it. outstanding. But this right here. You're gonna have the hot on the hot. Hot on hot. That's what I go for. You gotta pay extra for that cotton. <laughs> Actually, because the sausage is hot in itself, it almost dulls it. Really? Does that make sense? I think the, the taste buds in your mouth have died. Oh, you think so? And it's very good. That's the... very possible. This place has been an awesome experience. But that's because we're here at a certain time. Sometimes later on in the evenings, they have live bands playing. Or it's like really crowded. And it can be really crowded yeah. and super loud. And some people, even though they have a lot of beers uh, in bottles and cans, their tap list is really small. But i got a little trick I'm going to show you. All right, here's your pro tip. Go next door to the Huddle Brewery. They don't sell food there, from my understanding. However, you can get food from Soul Belly brought over. So if you want a bigger beer selection, maybe a different kind of style of no, music. A different vibe. It's a little bit more... Uh, it's more of a brewery vibe. It's more of a Green Day vibe. Green Day vibe. A little more punkish vibe, yeah, maybe. Yeah, music's different. Uh, but much better beer selection. Anyway, we ordered the High Hatter, which has like a pineapple like flavor to it. It is a pineapple brew, I believe. Very tropical and very necessary in this hot 
Vegas days. Overall, we loved Soul Belly. The service was 120% on the top. Like the whole time we were there, they took excellent care of us. Uh, loved meeting the owner. Kind of had a little bit of like celebrity. Were you a little starstruck there? <laughs> He's been on like so many different like Food Network I, shows. I and... love Top Chef. Anyway, the food was good. Literally the only thing I didn't like was the coleslaw. It was just a little bit off, a little bit too acidic. Um, everything else on there was really creative. Nothing like it had the best cornbread I have had at any barbecue joint. Probably hands, ever, huh? Hands down, hands down. I wish I could cook it like that at home. If I did, I would be twice my size. <laughs> I fill the lens. Um, can't say enough about this place. We have a lot to explore in the Arts District, but for now, this was an awesome first-time experience. As always, we encourage you to tip your servers, reach out to your local food bank, food organization, help your community, and until we dine together again, stay classy!